Okay. Hello. Hi. Can you introduce yourself, please? Hi, my name is Fernand Diamse. And tell me a little bit about yourself. I'm a student veteran. I started here about two and a half years ago, so I'm officially a junior this term. I didn't know that. Yeah. I thought you were a sophomore. Kind of sophomore, junior oh. transition. Okay. Well, and what's your major? My major is in psychology, and I'm hoping to put an emphasis in sports psychology. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Um, so how did we meet? We met during choir. Yes, Yes. And we were in psych together last year. And psychology. Yeah, this, that was fun. Um, so tell me about your background. My background, well, I... As a veteran. As a veteran. Uh, well, I or am, anything else that you want to tell me about. I am. I was originally born in the Philippines, and I came here when I was three years old. I am the youngest of three, uh, two other siblings, by pretty pretty big age gap. Um, and see, I joined the military, and I was in the medical field. I was a surgical tech for a little bit. I also deployed with Marines, and pretty much did a lot of good. I remember doing a lot of good things and uh, just meeting people all over the world. And I decided to go to college shortly after the military. Did you, you did two tours, is that what it's called? I did a few it, it tours like actually, a oh. few different deployments. Okay, I don't know much about it, so I'm kind of ignorant, but right. you were in the Navy, right? Yes. Okay, so why did you come to Kalu? So in my transition to get out of the military, it was, uh, <laughs> my transition getting out of the military was like what what's next that's always the question and you always want to have plans but sometimes things don't work out um, initially when I was first getting out of the military I wanted to be a teacher because in the, while I was in the medical field and doing all this other stuff I was an instructor so I was teaching a lot of people constantly and I felt like it was a good place for me to be uh, someone convinced me to pursue exercise science because I was a surgical tech for a little bit. And being in the medical field, you're kind of familiar with terms. But coming to CLU, of course, change perspective, change your mind, and, and you kind of develop your purpose into things. And um, I found that my general calling was psychology or counseling. So that's what I'm pursuing now. So tell me about veteran affairs or veteran services. So you the, work there. Yeah. So the Veteran Resources Center, um, it's a great way for students like myself to transition into becoming a college student. Um, a lot of men and women that joined the military, they they felt like that was their only option. And well, sometimes when you get out, you know, you try to make yourself have other options, and college is a good one. Uh, Cal Lutheran did a really good job with me, at least. I was inquiring a bunch of different colleges. Some even like 10 to 15 minutes closer to my house but I decided with Cal Lutheran because the transition was so smooth uh, they had their ducks in a row they were able to work help me with all my paperwork things I needed to be able to attend college and they just made a really smooth transition so Cal Lutheran won me over in that respect but there's so much more now that uh, that wins me over here just because I'm able to explore what I want to be as a student how I am as a student and also um, just have a really good experience with, with teachers and other students here. Whereas in other schools, it's crowded. I mean, if you're used to that, it's fine, but mm -hmm. Cal Lutheran with its smaller community kind of gives you a better sense of uh, uh, belonging. Yeah, yeah. So can you tell me your least favorite and favorite things about Cal Lutheran? see. Well, the campus is great. I think that's one of my favorite things. It's Though it's a small campus, you're still able to just kind of find a good spot here and do what you need to do, whether it's study, rest, or just kind of socialize with, with whoever your friends are. Um, another good thing on top of that is that the professors, they're approachable, most of them mm -hmm. at least. Not all, but a, a few of them are quite approachable. It's a simple email or a conversation and they're going to help you out. I feel like in a bigger school, you kind of get lost in the sauce. In yeah. a sense, you know, with, because there's so many students. The thing I I <laughs> dislike most, maybe, I don't know. I think my commute. It, it is tough to be a commuter student only because you only really have maybe one or two classes throughout the mm -hmm. day, and I'm here every day. It still doesn't. I don't know. It doesn't d deter me. I still come out here, but it gets a little tiring once mm -hmm. in a while. 
Yeah. And I know that for commuters, uh, parking and like places to study is kind of hard to find here. Kind of. And let, again, everyone, you kind of, you kind of, you kind of dig your own, you know, where you're at. And um, I, I have many places I go. So when I feel like I need a change of environment, it's easy to do that here. Yeah. Yeah. All right.